Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are taking very good care of yourself. You all are keeping yourself safe. I am Dr. Anshul. Welcome to Expo More Learn. Today's video will be a small but very interesting as well as informative for you as it is related to plurals. Before starting today's video, I would like to show you something with examples. Just look at this word key and the plural of this word is keys. Another word city and the plural of this word is cities. Here you see both the words are ending with the letter Y. But to make their plural, what did we do? Here we added S after the letter Y and here we added IES but we removed the letter Y. Did you notice the difference? So we made the plurals by making some changes which are different from each other, right? Now, a few more examples, video and the plural of this word is videos. Mango and the plural of this word is mangoes. Both the words are ending with the letter O and here we added S to make the plural of this word and here we added ES to make the plural of this word. Now you might be thinking, are there any rules to understand about such kind of differences to avoid confusion while changing a singular to plural noun, right? So don't worry, there are the rules about which I'll discuss in this video today. And today's topic is two spelling rules for plurals. So please watch this video very carefully till the end to avoid such kind of confusions. All right, so let's start this video. But before that, just a small reminder. If you have not subscribed this channel yet, then please subscribe by pressing the subscribe button below and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notification for the next video. And if you want to get more stuff like this, then you can join this channel as a member where you can ask me any kind of queries related to English. Okay, if you want to learn English speaking, English grammar or English writing, then you should join this channel as a member. Okay, all right, let's start this video. So let's learn the first rule to know the difference for these plurals, like the plural of the word key is keys and the plural of the word city is cities. And why do we add S here after the letter Y and why do we add IES here by removing the letter Y. So the rule is when we have a noun ending with the letter Y and a vowel sound appears before the letter Y. In that case to make the plural of that noun we add S just after the letter Y. You got it? When any noun which is ending with the letter Y and a vowel sound appears before the letter Y, to make the plural of that noun, what do we do? We just add the letter S after the letter Y. For example, day. Here, this word is ending with the letter Y. And what will you do? You'll just add S. Days. Day, days. Toy and the plural of this word is toys. Why? Because here we have a vowel sound before the letter Y. Here also we have a vowel sound before the letter Y. In the same way, monkey. Here we have a vowel sound before the letter Y. That's why we'll just add the letter S, monkeys. You got it? When a noun which is ending with the letter Y and a vowel sound appears before the letter Y. We just add S after the letter Y to make the plurals. Got it? And if a noun is ending with the letter Y and a consonant sound appears before the letter Y, what do we do? We just add IES by removing the letter Y. Okay, so Y becomes I and we add 
E S. In the end, for example, party. Here you see, this word is ending with the letter Y, but we have a co consonant sound before the letter Y. That's why the plural will be parties. City. Here the same thing. The word is ending with the letter Y, but we have a consonant sound that is T here. That's why it will be cities. Okay. We'll remove the letter Y. And we'll add I E S. Another example, lady. The same thing. The word is ending with the letter Y, but we have a consonant sound before the letter Y. That's why the plural will be ladies. And we'll remove the letter Y and we'll add I E S. You got it? So the words ending with the letter Y and having a consonant sound just before the letter Y, then to make the plural, we'll add IES by removing the letter Y. You got it? We'll remove the letter Y, but we'll not remove the letter Y if a vowel sound appears before the letter Y. Now, another rule. The plural of the word video is videos and the plural of mango is mangoes. Why is it so? Let's know about the rule. When a word is ending with the letter O and a vowel sound appears before the letter O, we just add S after the letter O. For example, video and the plural will be videos. Why? Because we have the letter O in the end, but we have a vowel sound before this letter that's why we'll just add S without adding E before the letter S. Okay. And zoo will be zoos, radio, radios. Okay. So in this way, this rule goes on. But when a word is ending with the letter O and a consonant sound appears before the letter O, what will you do? You will just add ES to make the plural without removing the letter O. As we remove the letter Y, we will not remove the letter O. For example, mango and the plural will be mangoes. Okay, so we have not removed the letter O but we have added ES here in the end. Hero and the plural will be heroes potato and the plural will be potatoes so in this way you have to keep in your mind whether the vowel sound is appearing before the letter o or a consonant sound is appearing before the letter o and accordingly you will add s or es to make the plurals so these are the rules i hope you have understood it well you have got both the rules but remember exceptions are always there so i hope you have liked this video if you have liked then please press like and don't forget to share it don't forget to subscribe this channel if you are new to this channel or if you have not subscribed this channel and you can ask your queries if you have any in the comment box below and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notification for the next video very soon i'll bring another video till then take care bye bye